When I think about the teams that underlie the seaport, there are some common threads that they have. And, and to start with those maybe, each of the teams is made up of very talented, seasoned investors that we've observed for a very long time at Wellington Management. So all of the 12 portfolio managers that underlie Seaport are partners of the firm. Each has over 20 years of experience and really deep expertise in their investment universe. That's one similarity that they all have. Another is, is their global nature. So all of them look across the, the full opportunity set of their respective investment universe and make investment decisions based off of what they're finding from a bottoms up perspective. The third thing is just that bottoms up perspective, is the notion that each of these teams is really a, a fundamentally driven bottoms up investment team that is looking to kind of company by company identify the best opportunities that they can find within their opportunity set. If I talk about the, each of the teams independently, so um, I'll start with the healthcare team. So in the healthcare team, we think about that team as value investors in a growth space, differentiated by a long investment horizon, um, a low turnover approach um, that has led us, and a, and a very strong value bias, that has led that team to mitigate volatility in what can be a volatile sector over their life. If I think about the financial services team, that's a team that looks to explore what they believe are mispricings in an industry that is inherently volatile. So financial services stocks tend to throw off volatility in the aggregate of about 20%, and that creates an opportunity-rich environment. And this is a team that's shown a real propensity for taking advantage of that. If I think about the technology strategy, that's a strategy that's managed by two portfolio managers. Each of them has a distinct investment style that is based off of who they are as an investor, but also the in investment universe that they play in. So one of the investors who focuses in software services, he's much more of a, a long-term investor where he likes to own his companies through the cycle. The reason that he likes to do that is because what he would say is that the fundamentals of his companies tend not to change much in the near term, even though their valuations can. So we see him being more active from a tactical perspective, but maintaining the same names generally over time. The other investor who focuses in hardware um, semiconductors and media, his investment process is, is more data intensive because that's the way those names tend to trade. And so if you think about the way a company like an Apple trades, it trades much more off of the last data point, and that affects investor sentiment. So he tends to be more sensitive to that and more active from a name turnover perspective. The last strategy is a diversified equity strategy that's run by two senior portfolio managers at Wellington who have been working together for a long time. Think about that as a go anywhere, do anything strategy that is looking across market caps, across sectors, and across geographies, really to find the best ideas and opportunities that they can on a global basis.